I got the weirdest question today on Twitch, which was, hey, I've been studying for about three, four, five, six months. I can't remember exactly. And I don't know when I should start applying for jobs. I feel nervous like I'm not going to do good and I won't get the job. Now, I see this mentality all the time where people are worried to take a leap for a job or they feel like they're too inexperienced to be able to get that job. And if I were to start over again, this is how I would prepare myself to get a job. In all reality today, JavaScript is the most easily hired for position and you do get the experience either the front end or the back end at a lot of places. So I do think I would focus on JavaScript, HTML, CSS, make myself as employable as possible because the first and hardest part is getting in the door. So I start applying myself. I'm starting to feel confident, sweaty, a little bit coconut oily. And how do I know that I'm ready to make an application to a company? So the first thing I would kind of gauge myself in is when I've completed a couple projects. Now I'm not talking about following a tutorial. Try building something yourself. Just pick something. It does not matter. Four player tic-tac-toe, do it. Application with a little extra style and a database backing it up and hosting it on some site, do it. And once you've kind of made it over that hump to be able to just build some things on your own, first thing you're going to gather is just a lot of experience and confidence, right? With experience usually comes confidence. But if you're not feeling confident, I want you to think about one thing. Go build something, go do it, and think about how did you think about that project before you did it and after you did it. If you were asked again to use a lot of the same technologies to build something slightly different or maybe somewhat different, you'd feel pretty confident. So in general, I never worry about that kind of stuff because I know given some time and I put in the real effort, I'm going to be a success. I can do what you ask me to do. So once I'm kind of in that position where I have the basic confidence and the skills to be able to build applications, I would start applying to a bunch of junior positions, but not just any jobs. I would apply to jobs that I don't care if I were or were not to get it. The reason being is that interviewing is a skill in of itself and it takes practice. So I would actually interview for practice. If I get a bunch of jobs, awesome. I can use those to negotiate with each other. Ah, beautiful. And if I get none of them, I'm not heartbroken. I take the feedback. I figure out what I wasn't good at, how I didn't communicate well, and where the mismatch happened with the employer and improve on those things. Second, I would always be very careful about the jobs you're applying for and look at all the requirements they want. When you see all, all of those, use it as a cheat sheet to at least be able to intelligently speak about those. Now, you don't have to master those. Often, those things are just wish lists. They're not requirements. And so that would kind of be how I would approach getting a job. Now, I love Rust. I think it's way, way more fun to program than TypeScript. But the reality is that if I were starting over, I would start where you get hired first. And then the moment you get hired, use that. Use that money, use that income as just a way to be able to be stable and learn then what you want to learn. If you feel really passionate about compilers, it's really hard to get a job doing compilers, but you could get a job that will supplement you while you study, 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 make blog posts, do all those things so you can move into that position. It's all about the long game. And really it's all about making yourself better. And here's the fun part is you're gonna take a job, you think ah, I won't really like it. You might find you actually like something completely different than you thought. I'm 36 years old and I still keep discovering things I didn't realize I liked to do. And so that would be my roadmap. If I were to start over again, that would be the way I would get hired. I hope that you like this. Uh, so like the video already. And of course, hit that subscribe button. I don't know why. Why do I have to tell you? I don't get it. I how many of these do you watch before you go, okay, okay, I'm gonna press the button now. Just press it. Now, one thing you notice that I didn't talk about any specific material. Uh, there's a lot of good influencers that produce a lot of good material. There's a lot of good Twitch streams that you can watch. I can think of a ton of them, especially this guy. You know what I'm talking about? Bruh. And there's a lot of just free material you can go watch on the internet, on YouTube, wherever, just to get started. There's just so much. Pick something, do it crush it, use it to build something different, something you may not know everything to do, and apply those skills, apply your ability to Google your way out of a problem, apply your critical thinking to solve things that you haven't seen yet, and I guarantee you, you're gonna get a job fast. And when I, of course I say the term fast, maybe six months, maybe you're that one person that gets that six figure, six month salary job, right? Or maybe it's gonna take you two years. There's just no guarantee.
And that's kind of one of the things I really love about this environment. The harder you work, the luckier you're going to get. The name is the Primogen. Suck on that, Luke.